What's up, my beautiful bros? Pretty meaning here. December 13th. It is Thursday. We are now only 12 days away from some exciting Christmas basketball. And yes, it's my own little Christmas countdown. And just a side note for you guys, I believe next Friday, somewhere around there, or next Thursday, I'll be heading up to to the in-laws for a holiday break. I will try to get videos up as consistently as I possibly can. But just so you guys know, if there's a little funk or if I miss a game day pick thing, that's what's happening. It's no big deal. Just taking it a little short Christmas vacation. And you have the Lakers at the Rockets tonight. What's better than kicking off our 13-day Christmas countdown than LeBron James smacking up James Harden? I would love nothing more than LeBron James to teabag James Harden on the court. Like when James Harden tries to draw one of those bullshit fouls, fucking LeBron James just bodies him to the ground and just fucking teabags his head. I'm kidding. But in all seriousness, the Lakers and Rockets promises to be a very good matchup, and it promises to also show how well Lonzo Ball has improved in the offensive system of the Lakers, going up against Chris Paul, one of the better point guards in the league. Also, LeBron James... <laughs> against James Harden is always entertaining because that sounds like a matchup that's going to go point for point. JaVale McGee, I think he can handle Clint Capella quite nice. I think the difference maker here is going to be Kyle Kuzma because I love me some Kuzma. I'm going to pick the Lakers here. The Rockets are favored by 5.5, but I'm going to pick the Lakers in the upset. Something tells me James Harden is about to get shaven like a sheep. Not literally, but you know what I mean. I think he's going to get exposed, is what I meant to say. And... I don't know particularly how the Lakers are going to do it, but it, whether it be through LeBron James domination, which many teams have suffered from, or whether it be focus too much on LeBron James and everyone else tears you apart. We'll see, though. The Rockets are only 12-14, and 14, but starting to climb back out after a poor start to the season. Yeah, the Clippers at the Spurs after that. San Antonio is currently favored by 2.5. I'm going to pick the Spurs in this one. The Clippers are on a little bit of a skid. So, I'm... I'm well, you know what? I switch, I switch, I switch. I'm picking the Clippers and the upset. Something about this game, when I'm thinking about it, just tells me do not go against Tobias Harris. I don't know why. Maybe it's Danilo Gallinari. Maybe I feel like he's going to pop off tonight. Something like that. I don't know. I just don't trust these Spurs. They are 14-14. Not the worst record, but still, not good enough. And then you have the Bulls at the Magic. I'm picking the Magic in this one. I think the difference maker here is going to be controlling the boards, and I think Vucevic, Bamba, and Gordon and them can control the boards well enough against the Bulls to take advantage of the Bulls' lack of really, really, really good shooting. I'm not going to say take advantage of their poor shooting, because the Bulls, to me, aren't necessarily a poor shooting team. I think... In all honesty, the Bulls are kind of immature, kind of needy basketball team. They're not. I don't think they're really NBA, an NBA team quite yet, as evidenced by how they handled the whole practice situation after the blowout to the Celtics. And against a team like the Magic, who do underperform on a yearly basis, they got a bunch of veterans who do know how to play, who do know how the NBA lifestyle is. I think they're going to school them. So I want to pick the Magic here. They're favored by 5.5. I think they'll cover. I would go up to an 8.5 point spread here. I know that's really risky, and I don't expect the spread to rise. I honestly kind of expect it to stay where it is. Maybe sink back down to 5 later in the day, but we'll see. And the other Mavericks at the Suns. Mavericks currently favored by 6.5. This game is on TNT. 10.30 p.m. Eastern, 7.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Also, the Lakers-Rockets game is on 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Pacific Time, also on TNT as part of the double header. Can't wait to see some me some Doncic play. With the Mavericks fair by six and a half, I would take them up to a nine and a half point spread. And it'd be interesting to see in the coming days if Ariza is moved sooner or if they wait more towards the deadline. Which I don't I honestly don't know. I think they'll move him soon where they are four and fourteen. There's or four and twenty four. There's really no point and keeping him around so long when you can get some young talent acclimated to the roster in return, stuff like that. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I hope you got you hope you all have a happy holiday, whatever holiday you celebrate. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.